All right, we are here ready to work with a heavy bag workout. This is going to be four rounds, and we're going to have one series of combos for every round. We're going to be building them up as we go along. So even though I'm doing this workout on the heavy bag, you can absolutely do these shadow boxing as well. You don't need any equipment. You don't need a bag. You can do this wherever. So let's go ahead and start to go over those combos. For the first combo, it's going to be a jab cross lead hook. And we're going to start things off with just the jab. And then next time you throw the jab cross, then you throw the jab cross lead hook. And then you reset and throw the jab again. And you just repeat that for the entire round. Second round is going to be lead hook to the body, rear hook to the body, lead hook to the head, rear hook to the head. So you start with the one, uh, three body, four body, and then three body, four body, three, three body, four body, three, and then four. You repeat. All right, for the third round, it's going to be a cross and then cross, lead, uppercut, and then cross, lead, uppercut, cross. That's going to be round number three. If you need these techniques, you can watch uh, all the previous streams. You can check out the instructionals in order to get up to speed on all these punches. So the final round is going to be a lead hook, lead hook into cross, and then lead hook, cross, fake the lead hook. And then we're going to come up with the rear uppercut. And again, one technique at a time, adding on, and then you repeat. Don't give it all for round one. Might still be warming up. Now, there are three different levels at Roll With The Punches, so just follow the timers as you go. If you're just starting out, you probably want to be level one, which is going to be one minute on and one minute off. Level two, two minutes on, two minutes off. Level three, three minutes on, one minute off. We're getting started. Go. Now, all right, so we're starting off with a jab, jab, cross, jab, cross, lead hook. Now, you go at your pace. You can take three, four, five breaths in between. We're working on technique here. We're working on placement. You can definitely get a workout. You can definitely go fast. You can add some power, but especially if you're just starting out, and if you're just starting out working on the heavy bag, make sure that your wrist alignment is correct that you're not hurting yourself. Feet and hands are tied together. So we're stepping forward with that jab, or if we're going faster, we might just tap the foot with the jab, but if the feet are moving, the hands are moving as well. So make sure we're breathing with every punch. That is key. We're relaxed until the last moment with these punches. All right, one. One, two. Level one's taking a break. One, two, three. Good. Level two and three are still going. We got this. Back to one. One, two. One, two, three. Good. You can vary the speed and intensity of the powers of the punches. You can have the first ones in the combo be lighter and come with a power shot on the last one. It's okay if you can move around that's great but if you're just starting out you might be a little more stationary one two three make sure you're breathing hands up chin down if the jab comes out make sure that right hand stays up that rear hand same with all the punches make sure the other hand is still guarding Okay, level one is back in. Level two is taking a break. Level three, this is your last minute. We got this. Basic combo, jab, cross, lead hook. You can vary uh, punches to the body, punches to the head, vary speed, add some defenses, uh, blocks as you're going. But we want nice, clean punches. We're almost done. We got this. Here we go. Back to one. One, two. 
could put snaps in those punches. The one, two, it's kind of one motion. As you're bringing the jab back, the cross comes out. So that rear shoulder is being pushed forward by you drawing the lead shoulder back. All right, we're at a break. Great job, that's round one in the books. Round two, remember, we're gonna be working in close. We're gonna be doing a lead hook to the body, rear hook to the body, lead hook to the head, rear hook to the head. Working in a little closer. Uh, you might see me studying the bag here. Um, we're, I'm focusing on techniques. Uh, that can be a bad habit to get into though. Uh, you don't want to drop your guard as soon as you're done with a combo. It's good to practice keeping yourself ready for your opponent to come back. The heavy bag might not hit back, but if you're ever getting in there with someone, they will. So I'm just steadying the bag for the purposes of demonstration for the video. Um, that's completely okay if you're doing that as well, but just don't do that all the time. So we start with a lead hook to the body. Lead hook to the body, rear hook to the body. I jumped the gun there, but we'll add that lead hook to the head. And then finally add that rear hook to the head. Take as much time as you need. You gotta last for four rounds. You can change the distances. Hooks can be uh, close range punches, obviously, but you can do mid range as well. Three, four, three. And three, four, three, four. Getting a bit off balance there, so make sure you check yourself. All right, level one's gonna take a break. Level two and three is gonna keep going. Breathing is key. Being relaxed until the last possible moment is key. Those two things will make the biggest difference in whether or not you can last four rounds, 10 rounds. It's all about keeping control of your breathing and keeping control of your relaxation. Make sure you get those hips and shoulders involved in these hooks. That's where the power is going to come from. Chin down, hands up. Make sure your knees are bent as well. We can all improve. I might be a little upright with the, some of those body shots. We're varying up between body and head, uh, dropping their guard so that we can come in and hit. Level one's gonna come back in, level two's gonna take a break. We're almost done with round two. Pace yourself. It's okay if you take a break, but make sure that your hands are up, make sure that you're still moving. Use that time in between to catch your breath. Three body. Three, four, both to the body. Three, four, three. You can see me adding some slips in there. Slips help you load up, really get power into these hooks, and also takes your head off the center line. We're almost done. You got this. Come on. Don't give up yet. Finish the round. All right, we are halfway done already. Amazing work, guys. If you can't finish it all today, that is A-OK. -okay. Make sure that um, you just try it again later. You will get stronger as you go. So for round number three, it's gonna be the cross, the lead uppercut, and then the cross. So we're back to the three punch combo this time. Now be careful with the uppercuts on the bag. Um, you kind of want to stuff it. So you don't want to continue that motion up. It's pretty easy to roll your wrist. You can also just go short of the bag as well and not actually make contact with the uppercut and make contact with the crosses instead. All 
All right, there's only two rounds left. But like I was saying, um, you can always come back to this later. As you get these combos in, they'll start to flow more and more smoothly. Just got to put in the time and the effort. Starting with the cross. Cross lead uppercut. Cross lead uppercut cross. So that's two, five, two. Back to the two. Two, five. Good. And two, five, two. Good. Again, make sure those hips and shoulders are moving. Make sure you're breathing. Chin down, hands up, knees bent. And two. Reset, two, five. Reset, two, five, two. Good. You guys are doing great. Breathe with every punch. Level one, take a break. It's okay to take five or six breaths in between, especially if you're just starting out. Not every punch has to be 100% power. Focus on that technique. Two, five. You can see me slowing down, working out the motions. It's okay, we're learning here. Two, five, two. Back to two. Two, five. There you go. And two, five, two. Awesome job. We're getting close to the end of round three. Level one's about ready to come back in. Level two, the break. It's gonna be here soon. There it is. So level one back in, level two, take a break. Level three, you got one minute left. Two. Two, five. Two, five, two. Nice. Something I need to work on is making sure just one foot is in motion at a time. The other one is planted. Hands up, chin down. You got this. Breathe and relax in between. And you're relaxed until right before you make contact with that bag. Try to bring your hands back as quick as they went out. Two, two, five. And done. That is three rounds down. We only got one round left. Amazing, amazing work. I'm gonna take a little drink in between. But at most, we've only got three minutes left here. Now, if you're feeling up to it, you could repeat this whole cycle again. You can add in some of your own combos. The final combo is going to be a lead hook, a cross, faking the lead hook, and a rear uppercut. So that's going to be a three, two, fake six. Again, we're building it up as we go along. You can throw that three to the body. You can throw it to the head. Same with the two. Be careful with that rear uppercut on the bag. Either stuff that punch or miss the bag. Be careful with your wrist. Should be wrapped up, having gloves. Here we go. Three. Then three, two. Three, two, fake the three. And then three, two, fake three, six. Fake myself out with the three. Lead hook. Lead hook cross. Lead hook cross. Fake the lead hook. Then lead hook cross. Fake the lead hook and rear uppercut. Good. 
Make sure your knees are bent. Come on, this is the last round. Don't give up on me now. Level one, you get a rest. Level two and three, keep going. There we go. That lead hook. Add in that cross. Fake the lead hook. Finish it, that rear uppercut. Come on, we're almost there. Level one's getting ready to come back in. Level two, getting ready for your last break. Breathe with every punch. In with the nose, out with the mouth. That short exhalation of breath. If you're having trouble with these techniques, you can check out the instructionals for all of the previous workout streams. I go over them in detail. All right, level one, back in. Level two, take a break, you're done. Level three, you got one minute left. Then you've done four rounds. Three, two, fake, six. You got this. Got to go to the final bell. Hands up, chin down. Take that three. Hit him with the six. Don't stop yet. Bell hasn't rung. Almost there. There it is. Amazing job. Great job, everyone. If you want full boxing workouts, you can check them out here. We stream every Saturday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. Get out there, roll with the punches, subscribe. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.